Hello everybody, this is Finwin. Here I am back again with uh, the Sandman. Where I last left off, I just got a shiny coin from the Tooth Fairy. And, um... Let's go give that shiny coin to... Nixie. So... Here, I brought a coin. Ah, oh, it's so wonderfully shiny. Well done. You can pass now. Just that simple? No, she's not gonna drag me in. Awesome. All right. So, huh? Fireballs? Pixies? Not quite sure to make of this, but I'm going to try to avoid them. A colorful log. I guess apparently I can enter that log. I guess I have to hide there for something, maybe. That's a possibility. I want to check on something real quick. Let's check this out. It's pitch dark inside. Fair enough. Maybe use the light feature on my phone. A little castle. A signboard. It has something. It has some writing, but you can't read it. All right. Fair enough. Is this like a frozen lake? Well, I can't do anything with it, so... Um... Let's interact with the castle, I guess? A very small house. House, castle... It looks like a castle, but... So I can't... I guess I sh it won't let me go in there. There's something resembling a birdcage. Alright, so... A birdcage? Or resembling a birdcage, I mean. Maybe I have to touch one of these things? Hmm. Well, I can't run. I can run up to them and then interact, and they make a little giggle. Hmm. I mean, I guess I... Let's go inside this log. So, can I go back? Hmm, alright, so... I guess I am tiny? I'm not sure what to make of that. Hmm. Let's... go back and talk to these people, they might know something. Hey, can you tell me where the Sandman is? Oh, that's right. You did say you had business with Sandman. I never want to see the stubborn old coot myself. Just goes right ahead, and there's a tiny house. That's Sandman's. You'll know it when you see it. What's wrong? Choked up? My mom told me that the Sandman, when I was little, I... My mom told me about the Sandman when I was little. I got the feeling he was really scary, but I can't remember why. Scary? He's not scary. Sandman's just a regular fairy. You'll see when when you meet him, Sophie. Alright, so I guess that will open up, uh... Open up something new once I check this out. Very small house. Don't tell me this is the Sandman's house. It's it's so tiny. Is this a house for ants? How can I even get inside? Well, 
I guess uh, I have an idea. Let's try this log again. Oh, I can take it this time, so... So I guess I should bring it over here. How can I even get inside? So that'd be okay. New place, new save. So, what horrors await us inside the Sandman's castle? But I guess if you say he's just a normal fairy, I guess there shouldn't be nothing to be worried about. The candle has a wavering purple flame. Alright. It's some nice mood lighting, I would say. Um, hmm. I, well, the other door didn't let me go in. I didn't expect that one to let me in either. A uh, hemispherical globe of sorts. Hmm. What could this be? People used to think the Earth was flat, so if you went past the edge of the sea, you'll fall off. A memo. You can't read it. A ton of clocks on the wall. All of them are stopped. Some kind of machine. David, or Lullaby, said that the same thing stopped time all around the world. Maybe he used this machine? Fair enough. I mean, there's a lot of clocks. All the different time zones, maybe? That's a theory. Let me try this door again. Oh, okay, so I just... I don't know, something was weird about that. Wavering blue flame. A memo. I can't read it. Blue flame, blue flame. Photo of a boy and a placard. The writing on it is strange language. This is a photo of me as a kid. What's this doing here? So, maybe this might be like a wall of people who might suffer insomnia, and I guess this is kind of like the same man's like <laughs> room of strategy of some sorts. Well, let's go this way first. So, uh, nothing special about that room. Bundles of firewood, pink crates, a bunch of barrels, a large pot. A black lizard of sorts seems to be dead. A bottle contains yellowish green liquid, sieves with fruits of some kind in it. Alright. So, I'm assuming this is like a kitchen. And then this is his dining room. Let's go this way. A painting hangs on the wall. Blurry. Maybe if I squint, I might see something. Nah. Our candle has a wavering red flame. So I wonder if the flame colors have any significance as far as what room you're in for a puzzle of some sorts later on. I'm going to take a, one more look at this. If I could glean anything from it. it doesn't seem like it, but who knows. Alright, so upstairs we go. Purple flames. Let's go over here first. Hmm. A white flower with red fruits. Let's check them all out, see if there's anything in any of them. There's a valve of sorts on the wall. Alright. Not sure what to make of that room, because that's maybe some type of greenhouse. Hmm. Let's check that out. But first, let's save. A weird blue liquid creeps along the floor. And it's crying. Hmm. 
Not sure what to make of this right here, but I guess it's something of importance later on. We'll find out. Ooh. All right, so we got ourselves a puzzle. Um, all right, so it did that for me. Not sure. There's a picture that says no horse. No horses allowed. No horseplay. That's right, did it. <laughs> There's a switch on the wall. Hmm. Let's not push that yet. Well, let's save it. So six is before the puzzle, seven is after the puzzle. Just in case if I had to do something back there to do get some different results. It won't open. Maybe it's locked. That actually scared me a little bit. Whoa. There's a heartbeat going on. You're, you're the Sandman? What's what's that in your hand? A spoon? It's gonna chase me? Ah, you're still not sleepy, are you? And I'll tell you a scary story. The terrifying story of the Sandman. The Sandman. He doesn't like children who stay up. So he digs out their eyes with a spoon and makes them into stew. Run time. Um, can I run? Can I run? No! Don't come near me. Yeah, I am running. Oh, shoot. Yeah, was I supposed to memorize this? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. But what? Why did he force me to come here? Eek, the soup! It's full of eyeballs! Are these children's eyes? Gulp, it smells awful. I'm gonna be sick. Just looking at it makes me want to barf. Does he want me to eat this? There's no way. I'll die for sure. He must mean to kill me with this. Then he'll dig out my eyes and make it into a stew. I don't know who's saying this. So, Sophie, Sophie, eat up, eat up. Food, food, eat up. Oh, I guess these little clouds are talking to me. Hmm. Nah, I'm not gonna eat it. Eat, eat. Nope. Eat it, eat it. Nope. Chew, chew. <laughs> uh -uh. I'm so sorry. Um, this looks really good, but but you see, I I'm not hungry. It's really too bad. Really a shame. I'm just too full to eat right now. So I, I'm sorry. No, don't do what I think you're gonna do. Sandman, you're not eating? It's okay. Okay? Uh, am I saved? Some sort of blue grass, salad probably. Yum yum yum. A green liquid overflowing with yellow bubbles that smells sour. 
Tasty, tasty. Hey, where are you guys? We're dust. The dust of this house. Dust? Yeah. We're helpers for the Sandman. We clean up his sleeping sand. I saw you in my world, too. You were cleaning up his sand, then? Yeah, that's our job. Hmm. Munch, munch, munch. Alright, so they're called dust. I think this is a good spot to stop. I am kind of interested in the idea of what would have happened if I got away. If that was even... If that's even possible. Uh... But, I mean, I'm still going to play through this right here and see what this brings me to. So, if, um, if anything, what do y'all think? Um, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.